Station, Tuesday at 9 a.m. on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. An emergency room nurse has died after an unprovoked attack while waiting at a bus stop in downtown L.A. We'll have the latest just ahead. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman at SoFi Stadium. Rams versus the Cardinals here tonight in the playoffs. Some fan actually puts this on his head. I'm not going to do it, but guess what? We got Rams fans that are here. Check it out. Already waiting in line to get in for tonight's big game. Let's go Rams. All right, we'll have a live report coming up. All right, Eric, and good morning. I'm Jessica Holmes. The late great Betty White would have turned 100 today. Celebrations are still being held in honor of her centennial birthday, including at her beloved LA Zoo. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. New at 10 o'clock, one of the big screen Spider-Men says he lied to his spider lady about his participation in the movie. We will tell you the entire sordid story. It's really kind of interesting. And one of TV's queens from primetime on the way here live. On and off, much of Southern California experiencing some rain just a couple of minutes ago or about an hour ago. It was coming down like, uh, it was coming down pretty heavy outside our studios here in Hollywood. And now all of a sudden it's almost clear skies. And there you can see very scattered but wide ranging now all the way from Ventura County back down into Orange County. Uh, rain will be on and off today. At times, possibly this afternoon, a little heavier when the center of the low passes through. Uh, a couple of 64s for your highs today. Coastal, downtown. San Fernando Valley and the Inland Empire. Orange County Inland 66, high desert up to 58 degrees. Frank, back to you. An emergency room nurse who was attacked at a downtown LA bus stop last week has died. 70 year old Sandra Shells worked at LA County USC Medical Center for almost four decades. Police say Carrie Bell, a transient, sucker punched her early Thursday morning near Union Station. It was an unprovoked attack. It caused her to fall down and fracture her skull. She underwent brain surgery at the very hospital where she worked as a trauma nurse. Officers arrested Bell about 90 minutes later. The LAPD says Bell had one prior arrest in LA, multiple arrests in several other states. He will likely face murder charges now. His bail was set at $2 million. A brutal winter storm slamming the eastern U.S. and it's impacting flights all across the country. So far today, nearly 4,000 flights have been canceled and another 5,000 delayed. Here in Southern California, 33 flights coming in and out of LAX have been canceled, while John Wayne Airport in Santa Ana is dealing with six canceled flights. And just yesterday, more than 5,000 flights were canceled in the U.S., 8,000 more delayed. Officials urging everyone to check with your airline before you head to the airport. Beautiful winter scene at our nation's capital as the nation honors the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The day celebrates the accomplishments of the minister and activist who led our country's civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968. Dr. King received the Nobel Peace Prize for combating racial inequality through nonviolent resistance. Dr. King's birthday was first recognized as a federal holiday in 1983. New now at 10, no tickets will be sold to the general public for the upcoming Winter Games in Beijing amid the pandemic. Groups of spectators will be allowed at the games, but those tickets will be tightly controlled and distributed by government authorities. Those in attendance will be residents of China's mainland and will have to abide by what organizers are calling, quote, strict COVID-19 countermeasures. China reported its first case of the highly transmissible Omicron variant on Saturday. The Beijing Games begin February fourth. The Rams and the Cardinals square off tonight at SoFi Stadium for a spot in the next round of the playoffs. Fans are already at the stadium ready to defend the Rams house. Their unofficial hype man KTLA's Eric Spillman also live at SoFi Stadium. Now Spillman I was hoping that we could see what I, I love tailgates and I was hoping to see what they're actually having. Have you had a chance to peek in? Oh my goodness. All right, I will show you that and you will not believe what they have. First of all, let me set the scene for you here. We're outside SoFi, Rams versus Cardinals, 515 tonight. Look at these people. They're lined up here getting ready into what's called the pink zone. That is the tailgate lot for Rams fans here at SoFi Stadium. It doesn't even open for several hours, but people have been here since before 
7 o'clock this morning. All right, let's come on and talk to some fans. And I'm bearing some gifts for these people. It's not like they're they're missing out on any food. They have plenty of food and drinks, I'll tell you. But I brought some uh, Rams donuts from Randy's for some of these folks. I'm going to give them to, to Mark here because you win the award well, thank for you. Rams Thank Super you. Fan. When you wear a helmet like that, that tells me something. Uh, I've been a Ram fan all my life since uh, the early 80s with ticket, season ticket holder back there when they were in Anaheim. And when they came back where they belonged, it's just I dress like this. I even have more. I have necklaces, the whole shot, custom shoes. Yeah, I like uh, the they're, shoes. They're my, they're my team. The, the Rams are the uh, where they belong now. Okay, Rams versus Cardinals tonight. Don't you think Matthew Stafford really has to have an outstanding game? Yeah, absolutely. And, and actually, the O-line has to protect him as well because without the protection, he has panicked at times and made some mistakes, but we're hoping for one of those days where he's on and, and we really need him to be, and we're going to get this win tonight, baby. Can't make any turnovers or throw interceptions. He's been kind of inconsistent that way. Yeah, he has. He's, he's had his bad days and he's had his good days, so uh, we're hoping for sure that today's going to be one of those good days. He's had them both, so we're hoping uh, today is one of those good days. Let's hope so. All right, thanks so much for talking to us. Come on over here and show you what's going on, kind of set the scene. In terms of, you know, Frank, you wanted to see what people are bringing to tailgate? Yes. Look at what Daniel has here. I mean, look at the back of this thing. There's propane. There's a hibachi. Uh, there's a few bottles of uh, adult beverage, let us say, just a few. Uh, all kinds of food, ice. Oh, Daniel, man, you are ready. Yes, sir. Are you, I mean, how long? Look at this. Orange juice, cranberry, mixers. We got the vodka. Yeah, uh, you know? How are you going to manage, uh, you know, because it's it's a long time to be here. We're professionals. We're professionals, guys. This takes long uh, years of uh, hard work and dedication, sweat. And experience, too. And experience as well, yes. Well, I, I think you've had some practice. Uh, yes, sir. I've had, uh, you know, I've come a long line of uh, hard uh, drinkers here, but no. In all honesty, go Rams. You know, the RWO welcomes anybody to our tailgate. You know, Rams World Order is the name of your booster group. Yes, sir, and uh, we're a family-oriented booster club. And you got, a, you got an estimate on what the score might be tonight, Rams Cardinals? I say 27-10. 27-10, yeah. Three sacks by Donald, baby. Let's go. All right. Yeah, Excellent. thank you. I think you're ready to party. Continuing on down here, uh, look at this. This has already started here. We got, uh, I think, chicken tenders here, wings, I'm not quite sure. We got sauce. We got uh, all kinds of stuff. You got a, a few beers here, just a few, uh, in this cooler. A little bit of ice. Uh, you yeah, know what? It's topped you off on bottom to top. You brought a few supplies. Uh, we bring everything to this tailgate. We I'm got sure. this cooler is topped off with beer, our mix, a 24. All right. You got a lot. Of, you got a lot of good stuff. Bar, we got everything. All right, they, they even have a DJ. Okay, so that kind of tells you what's hey. going on here. This will get started here. They open this parking lot uh, at noon or one or something like that. These at people noon. just hanging out. What time? At noon. At noon. Okay. And then, and then there's five hours of partying. Is that all? That's a lot of chicken wings. That's right now. It's just the breakfast yeah. appetite yeah. phase. And then we yeah. get boxes of alcohol. But you're apparently. right. It takes training to be good yeah. at this tailgating thing. Oh, yeah. When yeah. you start at this yeah. hour in the morning. Yeah. yeah. You can't just show up first time and think you can make it till <laughs> game time. No, no, no. no. Yeah, they you may not make it to the game, yeah. some of those guys. <laughs> some just may not make it. Rain, and it could be raining during the game, of course, does matter.